Happy fall, everybody. In this episode, we're going to show you how to make a pumpkin. So this is perfect for Halloween, Thanksgiving. So check this out. First, we're going to make a part. OK, I'm going to start with a 2D sketch. And I'm going to do the XY plane. And I'm going to draw a circle on top of this. And I'm going to make not a giant pumpkin. I'm going to make a 5-inch pumpkin. I'm going to then offset it. I'm going to offset it a half inch. Then I'm going to take a line tool and split the middle and then trim I mean the left side and finish my sketch to revolve that. So I double clicked the center mouse button to zoom out and all right, revolve, click on this surface, right axis, there we go. Hit OK. Next thing I'm going to do is the stem. I'm going to turn on the origins over here. So I'm going to knock that line down or that arrow down, and I'm going to find my XZ plane, so my horizontal plane. I'm going to right click on that, go to visibility, so that I can offset this. And I know it's five divided by two, so it's two and a half. So there's that. And <clears throat> I'm going to click on that work plane that I just created, start a sketch, draw a circle right in the middle of that. My circle is going to be 0.25. Actually, that looks too small. Let's double that. Let's make that a half inch. OK, so like a stem has, it's not perfectly circle. So I'm going to grab the arch tool, and I'm going to click on my part. And I'm just going to draw some arches in here. I'm not going to pay attention much to the size. I am going to pay attention that my dots stay on the outside of my circle and I'm going to trim the outside of that away. So now I'm going to finish that sketch and I am going to create another sketch by offsetting it off of this one that we created earlier and I'm going to make it like two inches tall or three inches tall. We'll see how we like that. Um, that one might be a little too high. So let's go back to, let's see, this work plane right here. Right click, go to edit dimension, and I'm going to go back to two. That's okay. Then I'm going to click on this work plane that we just created. I'm going to create a sketch, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to click project geometry, and now you got to click on all your lines. Then we're going to offset those lines by clicking the offset and clicking on those lines we just created and bringing it in. Finish your sketch. And now instead of extruding, we're going to loft. So I'm going to click on the loft tool. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to click on the bottom of the stem, click on the center, then click to add. Then I'm going to click on the offset one, so the smaller one that we just created, and hit OK. And you can see you just created your stem. We've got a whole bunch of planes everywhere, so you can actually just turn those work planes off by right-clicking on your work plane. Turn off the visibility. Do not delete them. Next thing I'm going to want to do is turn on the X, uh, I'm sorry, the YZ plane. So I'm going to right click on that and turn on the visibility. And I'm going to click on it and start a sketch. One thing you can do is down here, there is this slice graphic. So when you click on that, you can see it just cuts it right in half. And I'm going to project my geometry. And 
I'm going to create an arc. And I'm going to go to from here to here, and I'm going to make this. I'm going to create an arc here. Let's uh, give it some dimensions. So I'm going to go here to here. I'm going to make this one. Um, I need a dimension from the edge to here. I want to center that. So let's make that right in the middle. So 0.5. And we're going to just kind of keep everything somewhat rounded. So I'm going to make this uh, like 0.75. Finish that sketch, then I'm going to right click on the YZ plane, turn on the visibility, and project geometry. I'm sorry, I need to click on the YZ plane, create a sketch, and project geometry. So I need to click on the outside of that and hit finish sketch. So I'm going to use what's called the sweep tool, where we just created this arch area. And the path is that right there, what we just created. Maybe if I make this a little bit simpler to see. If I delete, uh, if I un make this one off, now I'm going to use the sweep tool, this little arc that we just created, and follow the path around, and I'll hit OK. And now we've got part of our pumpkin. I'm going to turn this off. And now I'm going to do a circular pattern. So now we're going to do a circular pattern. But first, we need to turn on an axis. So if I hover over the axis, I'll find that my y-axis is my vertical axis. I want to turn that on and then go to circular pattern, click here, click my red arrow to go around. And now you got to kind of play with the numbers. So let's see if 10 works. 12 works. Does lucky 13 work? 13 works. All right. I feel like since Halloween's coming, 13 should be our magic number. All right. I'm going to turn my Y axis off in the visibility. So we've got what looks like a pretty good looking pumpkin. This is a really good time to save your work. You've got the pumpkin all made. Please save this to your Google Drive. You can simply call it pumpkin and your initials.